Hey guys, it's Bethany, your crafty BFF, and I'm on again today with spring tote swap entry number 33. I think we're on number 33. And this swap comes from Lori, who is over on Instagram at L and Mavenu. I, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to pronounce that, but there it is. And I will have her linked in the description box down below. So make sure you check her out. We love a craft, a supportive crafty community, right? So let's support each other. She has sent in one to swap and she sent me something. So let me um, look at what her note says. She's made this beautiful card. Looks like she's used a... Um, Cartabella collection at least that's what this paper looks like to me and she says Bethany I made you a mini swap okay thank you I was going to put straps on your tote but decided not to because the items fit inside better I included them in case you wanted to attach them and use the tote for something thank you also I'm sorry the tag flip did not fit in the tote for my swap I didn't want to crush it so I packaged it separately thanks for hosting hope you enjoy my entries Love, Lori. I am sure I will enjoy them very much. So let's take a look at what she's made me, and then we will look at her swap entry. Hostess gifts were definitely not required, especially something big like this, <laughs> but it's much appreciated. I have been spoiled beyond belief for this swap and oh my gosh look how beautiful this is we've got a crepe paper rosette up here with this beautiful butterfly on it on, oh and it's a clip so i can reuse that let me take this out like she said she included the the straps so that i can use it for something i totally will it's so beautiful how could i not look at that there's some confetti stuck in there but that's okay inside let's start here she's gifted me a ooh gingham by bath and body works shea butter hand cream i gotta smell it Mmm, that smells so good. Thank you. Next, we have this little container that she's decorated up. It says Bloom. We've still got some confetti pieces here. We love confetti. And um, she's got these beautiful flowers here on top, with, layered with these leaves behind it. And inside, she has made me some gorgeous flowers. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. They look like they're all a little bit different. So thank you for that. I love having a variety of flowers in my stash to use on different projects. That one has some stickles on it. That one is like a thin petal. We've got this one here all glittered up with the heart in the center. I love that. I love a yellow flower. It's got a pink center. There's another yellow one. This one has a bead in the center. Super cute. And we've got these two blue ones. So thoughtful of you. Thank you so much. Cannot have too many flowers. I love to put flowers on all of my projects. She even decorated the inside of this little box. I could reuse the box as an embellishment box for something. Thank you what do we have here what did you do what did you do first of all look at this beautiful packaging you've got this uh, i guess it's like a tool rosette with this pink jimmy in the center this feels like a it's a die what did you do? It's a Tim Holtz do doily die. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is so intricate and beautiful. Look at that. 
thank you i was not expecting that at all whatsoever thank you thank you oh my gosh that's very generous of you lori thank you she's even oh i almost missed this she even put a little dangle charm on it how beautiful is that there's a little bee and a daisy charm perfect for spring i can reuse that as well in fact, I will. Let me take it off there and put that with my other little um, dangles. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. I definitely don't have that in my stash, so I appreciate it. In this little container, she's decorated it up. And, and saw, look at that little bee. How cute is he? I think that's one of the little bees from KS Craft. And she's got a butterfly here, too, in these itty bitty punched flowers oh she's made me some embellishments look at the little ladybug how cute is she so there's a couple of ladybugs look how cute those are there's a little bee oh he's stuck to the top there okay and then there's some butterfly embellishments as well all kinds of them girlfriend thank you so much these are gorgeous and layered with some vellum this one with some vellum and some glitter cardstock and then we have a couple more of these smaller ones we love different sizes for different projects Ooh, and there's an itty bitty one too how cute is that <laughs> so cute thank you for these I very much appreciate them. I am all set for spring crafting. Let me tell you. Spring and summer crafting. I can use these all, all the time. For sure. And then what else is in here? We've got a little notepad. Thank you. So beautiful. It's, it's like an Asian style uh, cover. And I love this color that's on it. Beautiful. I'll put those up there with my with my notepads thank you and last but not least ooh, there's a flower in here i wonder if he, oh i bet this flower fell off right here i will fix that i'll put that back on there and last but not least we have this little container here that she's put this gorgeous little flower on top and inside ooh, she's gifted me some charms some really beautiful charms look at that butterfly this bee with the crystals and the wings well there's a couple of those bees thank you another gorgeous butterfly Ooh, a pink bee pink and white bee a little honeycomb charm a bow a little popsicle flat, flat back that's what reagan calls them popsicles <laughs> It's got a little bow on his head. How cute is that? And like Mickey ears almost. And then there are these two floral bead caps. Thank you. I appreciate this. Very, very much. What a beautiful little hostess gift. Oh, and I, how did I almost miss that? This, this she decorated up. It's, and it's a roll of white, um, Pom-pom trim. I don't know how I almost missed that. It must have fallen out with something else when I was taking it out. But thank you. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. You guys have just spoiled me, spoiled me, spoiled me. Thank you so much. I'm going to have to reorganize my craft room again because I've gotten so many beautiful handmade and store-bought goodies from you all. Am so appreciative. I don't know what else to say except thank you. You know, I I really don't. But I will definitely be reusing your tote for something. I have some challenges that I'm participating in, and I bet I can make it work for one of those. So thank you. And then we can look at her swap entry. She's got it all protected here with this bubble wrap and and wrapped up with this beautiful peachy color silk bow and inside 
Yeah, she's used the Cartabella collection, I believe. Here's her tag flip. We'll save this for last. I'm going to take a drink real quick. And we will get into this. So, I have been going through the pockets first. And then um, saving the tag flip for last. For the swap, you had to follow my tutorial to make this simple loaded tote with added gusseted pockets. Something fell out one of the pockets. I don't know where that went, but there we go. Um, and I will make sure to clip this back on top of that beautiful swap. Um, you had to decorate one of the pockets, provide a make a springtime shaker. Four butterfly embellishments, six layered flowers, an A2 handmade card, a crafter's choice item, a sweet treat, and three trimmed samples at least 18 inches long. So let's start here in this front pocket. It looks like we've got a little, a really cute little embellishment. I've been seeing a lot of these um, paper clip embellishments that people, oh, it's a trim sample. Okay. So this is how she's packaged her trim samples. This first, it's super cute idea, by the way. It's, so she's cut out these little uh, paper clips, which is a die set from KS Craft, I believe. And so she, her first trim is here on this one. And it's a really fun, dainty little Rick Rack trim with loop-de-loops all in it. Very cute. I think that's something else that I think the thing that fell out is is one of these as well. Um, here in the side pocket, there's another one. So let's open this one. Super cute packaging. You guys know I love packaging. So here's this one. It's a blue. Let me see if I can unravel it a little bit. So we can see what it looks like. No, but I can get my finger under there. It's a loop-de-loop -loop type brick rack trim as well. And all in blue. Very cute. I'm going to tuck this little leaf back in there. Maybe. <laughs> I'll fix it. No worries. I will fix it before I package it up. There's that one. And then the other one, I think, was over here. Yes. And this one is really is a really cute little yellow and black dainty number. Super cute. Again, it's got its own little flower pot. Love creative packaging. You guys know how I am with that. <laughs> And so I'm going to put this back here with this other one. And then in this side pocket, ooh, we've got a dangle hanging off, off of something. Oh, okay, I see. So she must have had one trim sample in each pocket. And then in the back pocket is her A2 handmade greeting card. Let me open this up so we can get a better look at it. Beautiful job. She's triple matted. So we've got this dark pink mat, this light pink mat, and then this floral design in the center. She's used a doily, a tag that she tied some um, dainty pink trim to. We've got a little butterfly up here that she added the diamond dots to. One of us, and then some ephemera pieces, another butterfly. Very, very pretty. She left it blank, but with a little sticker inside uh, for her recipient to use. Beautiful job on your card. Forgive my sniffles. I ha I'm not sick. I just have um, my autoimmune disease kicking my butt at the moment. Here is where I found that dangle. Look at this. I love these leaves that she's got dangled on here. All these wire wrapped beads. Beautiful butterfly, a blue and green butterfly charm. 
an or a peach and pink butterfly charm and this sideways butterfly charm very pretty and that's on a paper clip that's holding this envelope together and she has gifted her swap partner this die one of a, a doily type die as well it's it's a little different from the one that she gifted me but still i'm sure will be very much appreciated very cute very cute very thoughtful of you put this back Oh, no, that was in the front, right? That was on the front. Okay. She has also gifted a uh, Bath and Body Works cucumber and lily hand cream for her partner. Very nice. And here in this little baggie, let's see what we got. Oh, it's her six flowers. She oh, so she used a little um, cut apart from the collection and a little piece of acetate to put them on with uh, some little foam dots. And these are absolutely stunning. Like I said, I like a variety in the different flowers that she did. So pretty. Great job on your flowers. And put these back here in this little baggie without ruining them. <laughs> That's the trick. Next, we have her shaker. Love your baggies. She's used a little cut apart in the background, and this is her shaker. It's like a um, it's a frame style shaker with this doily type edge. She's got the seam binding tied up here at the top. A little uh, ladybug die cut that she glittered up and added um, some diamond dots to. And then she did this beautiful floral cluster down here with this big peachy number as the center and then these little tiny flowers all around with the leaves poking out as well it's got a beautiful mix inside it's absolutely stunning shaker great job love the attention to detail love it love it love it I love that everyone's putting their best foot forward. Um, it makes my job of swapping them a lot easier. <laughs> Here we have another envelope that has a little paper clip that it looks like she made this little paper clip embellishment. Very cute with this bow on top. And inside, we've got a little, oh, it's a tiny stacked envelope. Oh my gosh, and so she's gifted some die cuts in this first envelope. How cute is that? These are all leaf die cuts and gold foil and gold glitter. In the next envelope, she's gifted some butterfly die cuts. There's even a tiny little envelope right here with something inside of it. Oh my gosh. Can I get it out? With my chubby fingers. What did you put in this tiny envelope? Sorry guys. Stand by. I'm going to use my tweezers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a tiny gold foil tag. With four tiny flower embellishments on it. How stinking cute is that? She even tied some thread to the tiny tag. How cute is that? <laughs> Let me tuck that back in there. And the next one 
we open up and it's like a vellum envelope that she's decorated and she's gifted two little tags from this collection that she tied some ribbon to the top as well. How cute is that? Super cute. Oh, wait, I had it all wrong. Okay. So die cuts, die cuts, tags, and then in this last one is a sequins mix. So I'm thinking maybe this was her crafter's choice item. Very nice. Cute little sequins mix for her squat partner. What a cute little presentation. A tiny stacked envelopes inside of an envelope. Gotta love that. Very creative. Um, let's see here. We looked at the shaker. Ooh, here's her sweet treat. Oh, look how cute these are. So she has, for her sweet treat, she has sent these Lint Lindor ladybugs. Very nice. Perfect for springtime, is it not? Love the whole theme. You, you, you really stuck with the springtime theme here. And then last but not least, this little um, box, she's got some butterfly paper with some butterfly die cuts on it. So I'm guessing these are her butterfly embellishments. And I am correct. So she has made four of these beautiful butterfly embellishments two of the bigger ones and two of the smaller ones that come in the die set she's used um, pattern paper and vellum and more pattern paper and more pattern paper so they've got like three to four layers each plus the gold foil bodies very very beautiful i love them Love them, love them, love them. Let me put these back in here. I will put everything back the way that I found it, Lori. Thank you so much for participating in my swap. I love your little crafter's choice item. I love your whole swap. <laughs> um, thank you for making me something. It was not required, but very much appreciated. Oh, we didn't look at the tag flip. See, I keep doing that, guys. I keep doing that. I go to sign off, and then I realize we haven't done the tag flip yet. <laughs> oh, forgive me. Forgive me. I am silly that way. Okay. We definitely have to look at the tag flip. I was thinking we were done because I'm 22 minutes in, but we haven't got to the tag flip yet. So she's got it in this beautiful organza bag. And then again in here for extra protection, we've got some beautiful chiffon uh, trims, some seam binding, some chenille thread, some cream colored lace, some tulle, you name it, all tied up here onto her beautiful pink ring. We've got some wire wrapped beads for a dangle, lovely, lovely, her first tag is this um sunflower it says i think this and this gold foil sentiment says sun kissed she's got this butterfly here on top i love all the layers of the sunflower she's got there beautiful tag her next tag looks like so she used this pot this like uh you know planter pot there's a little butterfly down here. It says bloom and grow. And then she put some handmade flowers and like leaves and foliage coming out of the top of the pot. Super duper cute. Her next tag is layered to perfection with this die with these die cuts popped up on foam. And it says Lady. something i don't know what it says <laughs> ladybugs maybe oh it says ladybugs okay and there is a ladybug right here with a flower on top there's even a flower and butterfly tucked in there in the back super cute her next tag says choose happy she's got this little cluster down here with a bird die cut a hand a handmade flower and this Gorgeous glitter butterfly with some trim along the bottom. 
very nice. This, this tag, holy smokes, is so pretty. I love the edging of it. She's got this gorgeous rosette layered up here with, like, some tool coming around and then there's she used this little ladybug in the center she's got some leaves popping out around it and a little tiny flower on top of it we've got a flower cluster here and this big beautiful glitter butterfly at the top it says you make me happy her last tag has this is this gorgeous acetate i guess it's acetate it feels like acetate and it's got these bees it says tokyo milk it just has some random writing on it so pretty i hope my camera's picking that up i know there's a glare on it but very very pretty great job on your swap now i can do my my signing off but i very much appreciate you participating the beauty it's endless in this swap. Thank you for putting your best foot forward. Thank you for making me a whole little mini swap. Was not uh, required, but always appreciated. This is the part I couldn't fit in the bag. Okay, <laughs> so I'll tie this back. I will put everything back in the swap the way you had it for your partner. And I thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I will tag Miss Lori um, over on Instagram in the description box. So make sure you check her out. And have a great day. Thanks for watching.